been out of work now for, oh, let me see. Our Willie will be 14 and Maggie's what, three. I've been out of work now for, oh, more than that. Why, I haven't worked for, how old is this at? Oh, it must be, it can't be, it will be, and yet. Have I ever worked? Well, I'm dashed, I forget. I know that the wife works just to keep things together. Oh, I've seen her go out in all kinds of weather. I've seen her turn out in the snow and the rain. And I've seen me go out and come in again. They say men must work and women must weep. Ah, but not when a woman's got a husband to keep. I'm subject to colds and they make me quite deaf and then I can't hear what you say. A fellow once asked me if I'd have a drink and I heard that with a cold, by the way. As we drank, we got chatting of girls we had met. I described a sweet bird dressed in red. My description was good and my pal went half mad. It was the girl he was going to wed. He said, I'll punch your head. I said, whose? He said, yours. I said, mine. He said, yes. I said, oh. He said, want to fight? I said, who? He said, you. I said, me. He said, yes. I said, no. So we then got to words and he said, you're a cad. I said, cad. He said, yes. I said, who? He said, who? I said, yes. He said, you. I said, oh. So of course, then I knew. The day I got married, some three years ago, I'll, I'll always remember the scene. Me and Jim Lowe married Maudie and Flo, who were twin sisters and always had been. We were married all right at a quarter past two, but somehow we must have got mixed. Jim said, which is mine? I said, oh, never mind. Let's get the blessed thing fixed. He said, have you married Flo? I said, Flo, I don't know, but what if I have? You've got one. He said, I wanted Flo. I said, oh, is that so? Well, your only chance has just gone. He said, did you know that you'd married Flo? I said, no, I don't know that I knew. He said, you've married mine. She's got 10,000 pounds. I said, well, never mind, she'll do. A sail on the sea is a thing that suits me, and I've done some sailing, it's true. I've been at my wit's end when sailing to Land's End, and one night when I'd had one or two, the captain came out on the bridge and said, Lads, we are doomed. The old tub's going down. To the boats, every man except you. I said, Me? He said, Yes, there's no room. You must drown. I said, Drown? He said, Drown. The old ship's going down. Don't stand arguing there. I've just told you straight, there's no room for you, mate, in the boats, or in fact anywhere. I know it's upsetting, but what's the use fretting? We might have lost all of the crew. But now, as I say, we can all get away and only lose one, and that's you.